The program you're looking at here determines who is accessing your wireless network and who shouldn't be. It shows you their activity, shows you the websites that they're hitting, and tells you who they are and gives you access to their account. The left-hand pane here, we've broken this up into two panes so it can fit on a, a window that's acceptable for a dial-up. The left-hand pane is loading up the websites that the individual is hitting. And the right-hand pane here, if possible, obtains the email address of this individual. And as we double-click on this email address, the program takes us in into the individual's email account. In this case, we're looking at a live mail, hotmail account. The system isn't limited to taking us just into a Hotmail account. It works for a variety of other accounts, as we'll see in a second. This should only be used for um, encrypted, secured wireless networks, where there's um, the probability that it's being that they're being attacked. If we go to Options under Tools, we can see it's possible to turn mail downloading on or off. If we turn that on, we can go to the right-hand pane, and as we right-click on this address, this email address, and we go to Explore, we'll see all of the email messages that were in that account have been downloaded to a Windows folder. And double-clicking on any of these messages takes us in into the actual message. And this also forms a basis for a searchable database, and we can install search capability to search through that on a per account or multiple account basis to look for the name of the individual. You can see here Yahoo uh, Live Beta Mail, Yahoo Classic Mail, AOL Mail, Bell South Mail, they're all being shown. And if we, as we've done here, double click on a Bell South account, again, like it did with Hotmail, it takes us into the account. The video that you're viewing now, you've obtained this from don'tsteal.net. As you see, the link below this link uh, gives a, another video, which is a more in-depth discussion of this program and a more in-depth discussion of how to configure the network in order to enable it to work. Now, you should not use this program if you have a WPA router, if you can get a WPA router, if you can set up a WPA router. This program is for people who have one of the millions of WEP routers that uh, do not support really a very strong um, you know, security model. The WPA and WPA are far superior, and if you can get those or upgrade to those, you should definitely use that because hackers will not be able to get into those routers. So you should set a strong password and get a WPA router if at all possible. If you're limited to using a WPEP router, and uh, as you know, it's very crackable. Uh, then you could use this program. Your current network configuration looks like this for your wireless router is in the center. Uh, if it's a WEP router, it has a WEP key and it has an SSID. And you're going to take that WEP, WEP key and you're going to take that w SSID value and you're going to put that into a new wireless router, which is going to be running Don't Steal My Wi-Fi on a laptop with an XP computer, meaning it's running Windows XP, with internet connection sharing turned on. And that is going to then be the attack point. That's going to be the point at which someone who's trying to hack into your network will hack, because that has the original WEP key. The original router will get a new WEP key and a new SSID. It will look like a different router to the hackers in all likelihood. And uh, you'll, you'll be able to see exactly what is they're doing on your network. So as we move forward to the next slide, we can see it's very important that you not leave either of these two routers in open state and without encryption. You must have encryption on both of these routers. Uh, as mentioned previously, if you want to see the, the, the um, configuration video, uh, just click on the link below this one uh, and you'll get the full configuration and how to set this program up.